Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this um, makeup look. It's perfect for Valentine's Day or date night or just going out. So if you guys want to see how I get this makeup look uh, perfect for Valentine's Day, just keep on watching. What I'm going to be doing is priming my eyelids, and for that I'm going to be using this uh, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Looks like that. So I applied that on my eyelid and I am ready to start with the eyeshadows. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to start with my crease and get a nice blending color in there. So for that, I am going to be using um, this eyeshadow from MAC. It's called Cork. And this eyeshadow also from MAC, it's called Wedge. So they're really similar. And I'm just going to be blending those two with this brush and this is the Sigma Small Taper Blending Brush and I'm going to start working that into my crease. And that's just going to help putting these colors here is going to help um, make it blend seamlessly with all these darker colors that we're going to be adding in later. And I like to make this outer corner round. And bring that almost all the way into the inner part of the eye. Then I'm going to go in with a blending brush. And this one is from Sigma. It is the blending brush E25. And I'm going to use that clean. And I'm just going to blend the outer edges. Add a little bit more of those same colors. And I'm going to go back in and blend. Where is that? Here it is. So next, I'm going to be using this brush. This is the MAC 219 pencil brush. The next eyeshadows I'm going to be using are these two from MAC as well. This one is Mystery and this one is Sketch. And I'm going, I'm like tapping it on because these colors are really dark and I don't want it to um, get all over the place. I just want it to be right in this outer corner here. So now I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and a little bit of wedge to blend that outer edge a little bit. I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush and intensify that, um, those darker colors again. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush from Sigma, this is the E30, it's a little bit more pointy, and I'm going to grab a little bit of sketch and a little bit of mystery, and just make this little point right here. a little bit of Foley eyeshadow from MAC and this is uh, like a brown burgundy mix color so I'm going to use that to blend um, around mystery and sketch. I'll use the small taper brush again just grab a little bit of Foley and just go right around and that'll help blend a little bit more. So next, I'm going to be using this double-sided brush that came with my Naked 2 palette. I'm going to use the fluffy side. And with Naked Basics, um, Foxy, and Walk of Shame. So these two colors I'm going to use as my underbrow highlight. So 
So I'm gonna use this uh, blending brush again, just to blend the edges. So there's a lot of blending with this look, um, but it's worth it because it'll look super nice in the end. And now with my MAC pencil brush, I'm just gonna reapply a little bit of sketch to, make, to, bring, it, to bring out the color again. So now I'm going to be taking this brush by Sigma. This is a small angled E65 brush. And I'm going to go in with um, Sketch and Mystery again. So I'm going to blend these two in and this is going to go on the lower lash line. When I get to the inner corner, I'm not going to keep going along with my eye, I'm going to make it stick out just a tiny bit. So, we have a little space for the inner corner highlight there. take this small shader brush this is the MAC 214 and I'm gonna take a little bit of wedge eyeshadow and just blend underneath that what we just applied and with brush again just take a little bit of sketch and darken up right on the lash line The last thing I'm going to do on the lower lash line is add this eyeshadow right to the center of the lower lash line and this is Cranberry by MAC. So the next thing I'm going to do is fill in the lid area and for that I'm going to use my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be using Half Baked, this one right here, and also Suspect, and that one's this one right here. So I'm going to start with Half Baked, and then on top of that, I'm going to put Suspect. To apply those eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the little um, brush that came with the Naked 2 palette, and I'm going to use this side, the shader brush side. To make those eyeshadows stick to my eyelid, I'm going to be using a little bit of um, Max Fix Plus on my brush. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of that on. <laughs> side with the blending side I'm just gonna blend the edges out just a little bit so I'm gonna load up my brush with the suspect and apply that onto my lid right over half date so I'm gonna take that small um, pencil brush from Sigma again and a little bit of sketch from Mac I'm just going to intensify this line right here because it got a little bit shimmery. What I'm going to do is apply an inner corner highlight and for that I'm going to use this Avon brush again, the little round. Um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be taking Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. It's this shimmery one right here. This is the Wet n Wild H2O waterproof liner. small eyeliner brush and I'm going to use a little bit of Crave from the Naked Basics palette, the black color, and I'm just going to mattify the liner because I don't like it um, all shiny like it is. And for my 
mascara, I'm going to be using Their Real from Benefit and this L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. and have them sit and stay in place I'm gonna use this product by NYX this is the eyebrow shaper and it's like a little wax and I'm just gonna apply it onto my brows <laughs> So the last thing I'm going to do is apply this eyeliner. This is the 24-7 Glide On Pencil from Urban Decay in Perversion to my waterline and tight line. So the last thing I have to do is my lips and I've already applied a little bit of this Vaseline Lip Therapy. And for my lip color, I'm going to be using this one from Revlon and this is the Color Burst Lip Butter in 090 Sweet Tart. Hey guys, so that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have a link down below um, for my blog where I'll have a list of all the products I use in this video. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye!